Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today's video is serving a two-fold purpose. One, we're going to be doing a uh, pork belly on the uh, Rectech bullseye here. And two, this is the first video that I'm going to be shooting uh, using the uh, GoPro uh, 12 uh, that my wife bought me for my 60th birthday, okay? So hey, let's, let me know how the video turns out and... Um, I would love to hear some comments on how to make it better and things of that nature, okay? So, because I like to use this GoPro as my main camera, all right? So, hey, no further talking. Let's go ahead and get the food prepped up and get it in the smoke. All right, guys, so here is our uh, small pork belly. As you can see, it's not very big, probably about three pounds, if that, okay? It's been marinating overnight in, ter in a teriyaki marinade. And then, so we're going to hit this with some Killer Hogs hot barbecue rub, okay? We're gonna, uh, we plan on cooking this till it hits the like 160, 170 mark. And then we're gonna cube it up. And then we're gonna try to make some small burnt ends with this. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, we're gonna let this sit here and get happy for a few minutes. And we can go ahead and get in the smoke. All right, so I got the GoPro sitting up on a table. I gotta get me a taller tripod for it. Uh, I apologize for the cicadas also, but um, hopefully we'll be able to zoom in and give you guys a nice close look. But we got our bullseye set at 225 degrees. Go ahead and give you a, a close-up look at this. All right, so we got our pork butt on. We're gonna keep it on, then we'll come back and check in a couple hours. I'm going to put a temperature probe in it so that I can monitor the temperature up to 160 degrees and then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, my goal is to uh, wrap it at 160, get it up to about, you know, 195 and then uh, maybe cut it up at that time, put it in some liquid and uh, try to make some burnt ends. But we'll see what we get. Don't go nowhere. And hey, give me some comments about this GoPro video. This part here might be a little dark. Maybe I should have been out in the sunlight, but I do have a light on top of the camera. So let me know how it looks, okay? All right, guys, hang around. All right, so now we're gonna check our pork belly. It's looking real good. Let's get a temperature check. Uh, we have 184. Uh, down here in the thick area is 169. 160. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. All right, guys, so it's been a little while. Let's go ahead and check our temperature. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 205, that's good, that's good. 
205. All right, let's go ahead and take it off. Ooh, juice everywhere. See, we can keep this juice just in case we gotta put this back. All right. I'm gonna cut it long ways first. Every fly in the yard is here, trying to get a taste. Woo, these bad boys are hot. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the side here. We're gonna get us another piece of foil. Another piece of foil here. Let's see if we can work this without dropping anything. We're going to get our old foil with the juice. Right there. All right. Get away, fly. Then we're going to put our, our cubes back in this. Aju. Back in the Aju, it goes. Smells fantastic. All right, and then before we double wrap this, so we're gonna use this sauce here, the sugar-free sweet chili dipping sauce by G Hughes. You can use whatever sauce you want. We're gonna pour this in here, real liberal-like. We're gonna mix that up. With the aju, we got everything. It'll be double wrapped, so we'll wrap this up tight and then wrap up our second layer. It's a nice little bundle, and we're gonna put this back on the smoker for about 30 minutes. All right, guys, we're about to take our pork belly burnt ends off. They look pretty good. Not bad. We're gonna go ahead and get these out of the paper, or out of the foil. They fall in the pot, which is what you want. Still kind of fatty, though. I probably should have trimmed off more fat when I was prepping it, but we'll see how they taste. See how they come out all right let's go ahead and have a taste test all right guys so we're finished with our cook and i had to come inside because i got people out there mowing i got cicadas making noise so i just couldn't sit outside and do the end of this video all right so uh these look really good and i did cheat i had one already and man the uh the flavor is fantastic okay being marinated in a teriyaki marinade and hit with that um that killer hogs hot barbecue rub and then that sweet thai chili those three combinations of flavors man really set it off okay uh as you can see these have uh, uh quite a layer of fat on them there but I, I when i tasted them the fat dissolved like jello man it was really really good man so those flat fat has rendered down to where it's really really edible all right so go ahead and have a second taste test wow these are really really good okay i'll put the total cook time up here on the screen so you guys can see each step and how long each step took okay so well that's about it uh if you guys are interested in doing this they check out the description down below the video and then hit me up with some comments and stuff uh and let me know how yours turns out okay as far as the using the gopro for my first video 
the convenience of the GoPro was really nice. Like I could hold the GoPro in one hand while I'm flipping meat or checking temperatures and things of that nature. So that gave a really good aspect to the video. Um, for stationary uh, shots, I'm probably gonna need a, uh, a tripod adapter or get a, a taller uh, GoPro tripod to use for standard shots. Uh, I did get a couple of clamps to clamp on poles and rails and stuff around here to give some different angles and stuff. During the seasoning process, when I was putting the rub on the meat, as you saw, the video was kind of moving around a lot. So I got the, uh, the head strap and you put the camera on the head. I guess what we don't realize is that our head moves around a whole lot. So you have to be really disciplined in not moving your head while you're doing the video. Or just put it on a, on a tripod to get a stationary shot. So I don't know if I'll be using the head strap for any of the videos. Maybe traveling or something like that. But but I don't think I'll be using it for any videos. I thought it was going to be a great addition. But I don't think it's going to work out. But um, maybe I'll try again. Okay. And, um, and that's about it. So give me some feedback. Let me know uh, some accessories that I could get to, to improve the performance of my... Um, on my GoPro uh, Hero 12 Black and uh, tell me how you like the video, the angles and stuff. And I know some of it can be a little distorted with the GoPro, but I do like the fact that I don't have to deal with focusing and stuff like that. So for a uh, content creator, um, some of the things that it alleviates you having to have to do um, is worthwhile using. And, um, and I don't have to worry about my phone falling over and things of that nature. So I'm getting broke during the video recording process, all right? Well, that's about it. So, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoke.